In this video, I am only going to work out one example, um, just a quick little example showing you how to use the long formal limit definition in order to find the slope of the tangent line at the given point. All right, you would probably only do this um, very early on before you actually learned how to take derivatives. They would, your teacher would be still talking about that, the limit um, definition, the formal limit definition, and you would have worked with difference quotient, and they're wanting you to do this and get a really good grasp on this before they introduce what a derivative really is to you. All right, so um, they're going to give you a function and then they're going to give you at a point okay because I want the slope of the tangent line to this curve at this point okay so if we wanted to actually take a moment here actually I thought this might be a good idea okay so I could roughly sketch this out here okay so this is an upright parabola shifted down nine so I could do a rough little sketch of say Let's just say right there. All right, and then at the point 2, negative 5, so 2, negative 5, let's say it's going to be roughly right about there. What I'm asking for in this question is I want the slope of that tangent line at that point to that curve. All right, so that's actually what we're doing here. Okay, so um, we're going to have to do the formal limit definition. Okay, so that means the limit of the difference quotient. So the limit as delta x approaches zero. All right, of the difference quotient, hopefully I am assuming you have that memorized at this point. All right, that would be um, f of, I'm going to go ahead and write down in case we don't have it memorized, f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Okay, so to apply that to that function, the limit as delta x approaches zero of x plus delta x quantity squared minus 9 minus the functions itself. So if I'm going to minus a binomial, i got to go through and change all my signs. So minus x squared plus 9 all over delta x. All right, this over here requires a FOIL. All right, so the limit as delta x approaches 0, FOILing that out, I'm going to get an x squared plus a 2x delta x plus a delta x quantity squared. And then I've got the minus 9 minus x squared plus 9 all over delta x. All right, now we can do some crossing out. All right, I've got a minus x squared and an x squared. I've got a minus 9 and a 9. And I think that's all that crosses out. Then we've got the limit as delta x approaches 0 of a 2x delta x plus a delta x squared all over delta x. All right, now I need to uh, factor out a delta x on top. So the limit as delta x approaches 0, factor out that delta x. I'm going to have a 2x plus delta x all over delta x. I can do a little more simplifying now. I can take that delta x and cross those out. Okay, now I can actually take the limit of this expression. If I take the limit now at this point, as delta x approaches 0, this term goes to 0. So then I would have a 2x. All right, now what you need to do is you really need to get a grasp on what that 2x is. That 2x gives me the slope at any point along the curve. Okay, so really good conceptual part right there. That 2x gives me the slope at any point along this curve. So no matter where I picked, the 2x would give me that. All right, but this question very specifically wants the slope at 2, negative 5. At 2, negative 5, well, this is my x-coordinate and this is my y-coordinate, so it's a matter of plugging it in. Okay, so let's take a look at the slope at the point 2, negative 5. It means I'm going to have to take this 2x and plug in my x value. So 2 times 2, which is going to give me a 4. So this is the slope of the tangent line at the point 2, negative 5. So final answer to answer the question, what is the slope of the tangent line at the um, 
given point. It's 4. This is the slope, and I should say the slope of the tangent line at any given point along the curve. The slope of the tangent line at any given point along the curve, specifically at the point 2, negative 5, it's 4. All right, so um, really what this is is just the, um, a long procedure of going through that difference quotient, simplifying it, so a lot of algebra, all right, um, to get to that point, you get a generic slope of the tangent line at any point along the curve, all right, and then when you plug it in, then you can find the slope at the specific point. All right, and this definitely would be um, leading up to you writing the equation of the tangent line eventually along those lines. Definitely thanks for watching, and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.